didn't understand whether my hair needed protein, whether my hair needed moisture, both. It had no strength, it had no uh, elasticity, it had literally nothing. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Patricia here, back with another video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Definitely make sure you subscribe and stick around because there's loads more videos coming around. Uh, today's video, guys, I'll be talking about how what I did and what I'm still doing to recover my curls. And from the beginning up until now, what I used, what I tried, what didn't work, what worked, what I continue to use, and how, and so on. So, I'll just be showing you guys products I've been using. I have like a whole basket here of things I will be sharing with you guys. And also have some notes so I don't quite forget anything. So, um, yeah. So, the main one is, not the main one, but the one we all know, the one and only that we know it grows hair, it helps your scalp and it helps your hair grow, is the Jamaican Black, Black Castor Oil. Black castor oil is very high in resonolic acid and it's so, it's so, so good to help with hair growth and literally helps moisturize your scalp and this helps to grow your hair. So this is extremely good. I usually, it's very thick though, so I don't like to use it, for example, when I'm styling my hair. So I usually use this for, if, I, if I'm doing a deep, uh, deep uh, oil treatment, sometimes I mix a bunch of oils. And I do like an oil treatment and I do about um, some, normally I mix like 10 oils. When I use, uh, when I do hot oil treatments, I mix a bunch of oils. One of them being coconut oil and extra virgin oil. I actually don't have it here, but you know what extra virgin oil is. We all have some at home. They both have great molecules that can actually help penetrate your hair scalp, and this gives you a boost in protein and also gives strength to your hair and at this stage where my the way my hair is it literally needs a lot of that another oil i really use and usually i most of the time i mix all these oils but sometimes i just use one or the other depends what i feel like another oil i use a lot is um almond oil which also is really good for your hair. It helps with like, well, I don't know. It, I actually don't know about almond oil. I just love it. It's literally my favorite one. This and coconut oil are definitely my favorite one. I use this to style my hair all the time. I just feel like it gives, it holds. Like if you put products and everything in your hair and then you put oil, I feel like it holds the product in your hair and the moisture and everything. So I love that. I love it for that. I don't know if it actually does that, but I think it does. So I absolutely love it. I love the smell and I use it all the time. I feel like it does give my hair loads of moisture when it's really dry, especially the times that have been very dry. So I use that all the time. Another oil I've been using is this Forest Shores um, oil. I got this one from Amazon and is a hallelujah hair oil for dry and damaged hair. So I've used like just little bits most of the time during the night, like every day or so. And I just put it in massage my scalp and leave it. That's what I do with a lot of oils with uh, black castor oil, coconut oil, almond oil. I sometimes just put a bit in my hand and I just moisturize my hair, like literally massage my scalp. And that's what I use most of the time with the oils. And one time I'll use one other, sometimes I'll mix loads, sometimes I don't. If I do like a hot oil treatment, I'll use a bunch of oils, most of the time about 10 or 6 of them. And then I just sleep with it and then the next day I just wash it. So that's what I usually do with my oils and I've been doing that for quite a lot, like literally on the long run. I do it every like 2-3 weeks and I do the deep treatment oil. It depends what your hair needs, you kind of need to understand what your hair actually requires. For you to be able to do whatever so it, it gave i had to like literally understand what my hair needs at a certain point to be able to actually know what your hair wants so for example i now i feel like i'm doing i just realized it all like shit moisture i feel like i'm doing an ad for them but i'm not <laughs> but yeah these are my favorite masks these are my favorite masks so I'll talk about this one first. This one has been my favorite mask even before when I had my black hair. I always loved this and I swear by it. I absolutely loved is the strengthening, uh, strengthening, strengthen, strengthen and restore treatment mask 
from Shea Moisture. It's a Jamaican black castor oil one. I've always loved this product. Absolutely love it. It has all the stuff you need for your hair, you know, to give the strength you need for your hair. And I've always used this. I've always used it with my black hair also. And I always loved it. But once I dyed my hair, I felt like it wasn't giving me the results it was giving me with black hair because i just felt like this was not helping my damaged hair i feel like this i can use when my hair is like recovering again but like now i use this again i started using it again because my curls have start have like gone better so i've started using this again but in the beginning when my hair was completely straight and had no curl no bounce nothing this really did not help so i wouldn't recommend if you're actually trying to recover your curls on the other hand instead of this one i bought this one which is actually a deep treatment mask for damage and transition in here so this definitely works so basic i feel like this and this is just the opposite this one is just for actual damage hair and this one is if your hair is already healthy and doesn't need this anything stronger so yeah i definitely love this one and i literally guys i use pretty much everything this is my second bow already and this is my this is only my first one this goes a long way i've only got one but it's also basically finished yeah so this one if you're actually looking for something like to bounce your curls and you need moisture and any like proper deep treatment like dip conditioner in your hair definitely strongly strongly recommend you get this one however i had to play with round this two masks so this one is the hydrate repair protein treatment yeah, so I had to literally play with the both. So I had to literally understand what my hair needs. Did my hair need moisture? Did my hair need protein? And I had to work around it to see what actually my hair, my hair needed. So protein literally gives your hair strength, uh, flexibility and elasticity. So my hair was not, like it would not bounce, it would not curl up, it would not do any of that because it was at a state. If you guys have, if you guys watched my previous video, which was about, um, how my hair how i damaged my hair by dyeing it you'll see how the conditions my hair were i always set some clips in here but definitely go ahead and watch that video so you understand the process a little bit better so this is what i and like i had to understand whether my hair needed protein whether my hair needed moisture my hair was completely it needed both i, I would literally tell you it needed both it had no strength it had no uh elasticity it had literally nothing it had no moisture it was super dry it was super damaged it needed health it needed it needed help <laughs> it needed life it needed like everything so i kind of had to bounce around both and one thing is you can't use too much moisture because in the beginning i was just using this and it was not giving me it was giving me moisture to a certain point but not give me the curls i needed it was not giving me I couldn't see difference so then i had to buy this one and once i tried this one and i would balance the both i could actually see my hair recovering and i could actually see some curls coming up most most of the places i was seeing curls was literally my roots so my hair was growing and uh, all all the hairs at the top here were actually recovering and getting curls and like balanced about ba the balance it was bouncy it was like getting more healthier just the ends weren't which was when i decided to then cut those ends because there was just no more there was no way it would recover anymore at this point a girl just had to cut it out like there was no way out anymore i literally needed to cut so that's why i went deep into the cut i did so protein and a moisture i keep saying this is like this is deep treatment for me is like a moisture for your hair and that's definitely what it is and this is protein having a balance between both helps you get your like health curls and bouncy curls and all the elasticity the moisture everything you want so you need to have a balance between one or the other so if protein because my hair was really really in a bad state i would use it every two weeks so i would use like one week i'll use protein the other week i'll use moisture the other week i'll use protein but if your hair is healthy and you're not transitioning protein you don't need you can't use too much protein you can't use too much moisture so it's literally but protein is much more you can't use a lot of it basically so you kind of literally have to work around it like i've been saying but protein you should you basically on if your hair is healthy and it's actually okay you should 
technically only use it once a month i would say but because my hair was in the state that it was i would use every week or so so literally twice a month i was using it and i would say in the beginning in the first time i got it i actually used it every i used it for a month literally once a week every month so obviously i used it four four times in that month and it needed it my hair really needed it but then i that's when i realized okay i need to kind of balance between the two so then i stopped choosing this as regularly and i started incorporating the both so that's literally what happened and sometimes instead of using this one i would buy a different mask so for example i had um this one and i liked it but at the same time i just didn't feel this is uh sorry i don't think i could show you the focus yeah so this is the coconut miracle oil hair mask and it was extra strength it's for like bleached hair and everything but i just wasn't a fan of it i liked it yes i did it was okay but i was not the biggest fan so i did try i used it a couple of times i think and that was about it but yeah so that's the difference and now i recently just bought this um the maui collection so it should be a video coming out tomorrow or so so it'll be up before this one so definitely check that out if you have not yet so this is a hair mask I used as a mask and I absolutely love it. I also used as a leave-in conditioner and I absolutely love the both. And yeah, so I, this is for dry and damaged hair. So I definitely recommend you use this as well. I felt I really, really liked it as both leave-in conditioner and a mask. It's extremely thick. Extremely thick. This is like my one use. It's extremely thick. I've only used it once and so far I've been very happy with it. I didn't need to restyle my hair or anything, put any products since I washed it. Didn't need to do any any sort of it. So I definitely recommend you also try these ones. But for the first, I def for first I definitely recommend you try you put a bunch of oils in your hair, definitely all the time. Use a lot of oils all the time. Try to use protein and um moisture within the time if you don't want to use this if this uh sorry if this uh deep treatment does not work with you you can use any other deep conditioner that you feel like works with you and your hair so definitely use one or the other as you go along but these were my favorites and i swear by it and i definitely want you guys to try them out definitely test them out if you are if you are transitioning from not just from bleached hair my case is bleached hair but if you are transitioning you're like from heat damage or that was my dog sorry so if you're also transitioning from like heat damage or any sort of yeah i definitely recommend you try these products as well these are not just for bleached hair in my case it's because i bleached my hair and i complete damage it's the same whether it's bleached it's damaged bleached whether it's damaged dyed whether it's damaged um from straightness damage from heat damage that's what i tried to say whether it's whichever one it is is the same you have to treat them you have to treat your hair exactly the same way to recover it so i strongly recommend you guys try and definitely don't forget to use protein in your hair because it's very it's very much needed don't bother just trying to use moisture and because all my hair is super dry it needs the moisture it also needs the protein so definitely use the both combined because it will really help also the oils are extremely important with hair growth my hair has grown so much guys literally this whole thing used to be dyed like i dyed even my um baby hair so my hair has grown a lot in the past few in the past six months regardless of me cutting it off or not the older i always cut off the old hair that is damaged and i actually don't need it it's literally doing nothing in my head that's why i've been cutting and that's why i con continuously cut so as i go i keep just cutting one day i just see one hair that doesn't need to be there and i cut it for instance right now there's some bits here that they actually need to be there and i could just literally go and cut them off and that's what i do there's no point in having um sorry if you can hear my dog as per usual there's no point in having length if your hair is not healthy so you might as well just take it all out and just keep the healthy curls and remove what you're doing you might as well keep the healthy curls and remove the damaged one 
but yeah that's what that's what i believe so yeah guys i think i've spoken enough and uh wrap it up a little bit i think you understood everything that i was trying to explain to you guys what is what i did to fix my hair and what i constantly use and do to just like the products i use that's why i just wanted to share with you guys the products i use to fix my hair and everything so i hope you liked this video definitely make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet i mean you watch all the way here i know you want to subscribe so you might as well just do it also don't forget to follow me on my socials i'm always always active on instagram so if you want to keep in touch with me besides youtube definitely go ahead and hit that follow and yeah so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you guys on my next video Bye!